Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Software is in a constant state of evolution. It's always going to change. Darwin would be proud, you know, if he knew that software didn't exist and then existed that way forever. Of course, the version is going to exist that way forever, but software evolves, just like the web evolves. It's just always changing. That's a good thing. And, and sometimes you have to update your software in case there are security patches. You know, if someone finds an exploit uh, for that software, does that mean that you should patch it? Well, nine times out of ten, yes, because you want to make sure that you're fully patched, that your computer or device or whatever happens to be connected to a network or even existing alone is safe and secure, as safe and secure as it could be. I've got a question here from the community at large, from our partner community at go.tagjag.com slash pcpitstop. And uh, this is David all the way from the UK, it says this site was swamped in June due to problems caused by Microsoft's huge security updates. I've just downloaded the October updates, 19 of them, which took t about 45 minutes. And he says it's slow broadband. Well, it's, it's not that bad, I mean, compared to the way it used to be on dial-up. Anyway, he says, should we congratulate Microsoft on getting it right this time, or should we ask why they didn't release these updates in smaller chunks over a period of time? Well, here's the thing. They released them, right? Even if it wasn't Microsoft, let's say it was Apple, they have to release security updates. Software is constantly evolving. Linux, same thing. It's always evolving. Operating systems, software needs to be updated because there are exploits that are out there. And sometimes the programmers, the developers, the people who create the programs and the operating systems don't see these security holes until it's too late. So it's better that they issue these patches. Well, Microsoft's discovered that it's usually better to issue a whole chunk of patches at once rather than smaller updates. Don't ask me why. I mean, they could, of course, uh, you know, leak them out over time. And in some cases, you could probably get uh, advanced copies of those patches if you're uh, part of their TechNet or, uh, let's say, the MSDN subscription. If you are a security professional, you probably already know about half of those updates before the general population of the web does. So, yeah, I would say congratulate Microsoft for issuing those patches, because at least they did. Some vendors, not going to name any names, won't even issue security patches. And there are a lot of vendors, not just the, the vendors or the companies that create operating systems, but software in general. Any software, any software that runs on your computer can be a victim of a security exploit. Any software. All the way down to notepad.exe on Windows. It's, it's a program. It, it can be exploited. Don't ask me how. I, I'm not that type of person, for better or for worse. But the bottom line is, at least Microsoft's doing it. Apple does it too, and you're going to find your favorite list, uh, Linux distribution, if you have one, also uh, issues updates on a regular basis as posted by the community. That's the nature of Linux in general. So, uh, yeah, um, if you're having problems or you see other people are having problems, beware. But usually, nine times out of ten, it's best to keep your computer up to date. Unless, of course, you like running Windows 95. And I know at least two of you who are. It's kind of sad. Keep it up to date. If it causes issues, you've always got backup, right? It's either System Restore inside of Windows or maybe your own uh, other solution that you have in place, assuming you're backing up, you can always roll back. Just update your software. Don't don't stay unpatched. It's not recommended in general. You have a different opinion? Fine, go ahead, post it. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Of course, you're also welcome to join us in our community of technology enthusiasts, including the peanut gallery that I've had, you know, beside me here through this particular video recording. <clears throat> Geeks.perillo.com is where you can find us. My blog, chris.perillo.com. You can get your own free WordPress blog at lockernome.net. And then you could also uh, save money at coupons.lockernome.com. And, and, and join us in the chat room if you like talking about hardware, software, services, debating these things, so long as you can present your position without being rude, crude, or vile, you're more than welcome to join us. We are typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.thescreensaver just kicked in. We'll eat you later.